Hi, this is Francis from A Plus Tutoring. In this session, I'm going to show you how to evaluate the problem in chapter 7.1, number 42, in the Stewart textbook. Now, this is to evaluate the integral sine of ln of x dx. Now, if you look at this, you don't like the ln of x, right? So you want to use a substitution to make it go away. Because like you don't know how to evaluate the integral of sine of ln of x, right? So if you substitute, let's use um, y. y equals to ln of x. Okay, what is dy then? dy is equal to 1 over x dx. Okay, so I know that this is going to be 1 over x dx. I don't have 1 over x though. So what can I do? Okay, well, what is x here? You can actually come back here and say that e to the y equals to x. Okay, so this is e to the y. So e to the y times dy equals to dx. So you replace your dx by e to the y. Okay, now my integral is becoming e to the y sine of y dy because e to the y dy is basically my dx and sine of ln of x ln of x which is y so i have sine of y now this is basically integration by parts if you look at the formula here e to the y right sine of y is basically this one now you have to put dv to be equals to your e and u to be the rest Okay, so let me do that here. U to be the rest, so U to be sine y here. And dv has to be e to the y dy. So I know that v is equal to e to the y plus c. And my du is equal to cosine of y. Okay, so now my formula is uv minus integral of v du, and this whole thing is becoming u times v e to the y sine of y minus integral of e to the y du, which is cos of y dy. Okay, so I have something like this. Oh, I forgot the dy here. Okay, so don't forget about that. Now I have something like this. Well, obviously I already have a plus c. You can write that at the end, just don't forget about that. Now what happened here is saying that minus integral of this, this is basically again, integration by parts. Okay, you do the same thing again. So let me do it on the next page. Let me recopy my answer previously. e to the y sine of y minus integral of e to the y cos of y dy. Okay, I'll leave the plus c at the end. Then what happened? I need to use integration by parts again. u equals to cos of y and dv equals to e to the y dy, v equals to e to the y plus c, and du is to be minus sine of y dy. So applying uv minus integral of v du again, for just this integral right here, right? Because I have whatever that is in the front, I just need to recopy that first, subtract, Okay, u times v. Okay, so e to the y cos of y minus integral of v times u, uh, v times du, sorry. So it will be minus, so I have a minus sign, so it will become a plus sign. e to the y sine of y plus c, right, at the end. So dy here. Now, 
look at this integral. This integral is basically my previous question. This integral is basically my question right here. So let me group them. So what do I mean by grouping them? So you see that integral of e to the y, this is my question, right? Right at the beginning, is equal to this right here, e to the y, sine of y, minus e to the y, cos of y, minus, because of this minus, it, I put it inside of the bracket, so it becomes integral of e to the y, sine of y, dy. Now I can group this term onto the other side to give you two times of that. So two times of integral of e to the y, sine of y dy equals to e to the y, sine of y minus e to the y, cos of y plus c. Okay, so now I introduce the plus c, so I don't, I don't forget about that. Now I know that I have to divide it by two so that I can figure out what is the answer for the integral. So I know that integral of e to the y sine y, and this is equals dy, equals to one half of e to the y sine of y minus one half e to the y cos of y plus c. Okay, so this is basically my answer for this integral. But this integral, I have to go back and put it back with the x, right? So I know that integral of sine ln of x dx, right? This is the original integral. is equal to 1 half. Now put back y as ln of x. So e to the ln of x is just x, right? x, and then sine of ln of x minus 1 half of x times cosine of ln of x plus c. And this is basically my final answer. So if you see, I use different tricks here. Substitution to make it easier, and then I use integration by parts. Once I use integration by part, the trick of integration by part of this kind of uh, integrals is to regroup the like terms, okay? Regroup the like terms, which is the like integrals together and divide by that number here because it groups them together and becomes a two. So I divide it by two and then it gives me the answer, okay? Always have the plus C because it's antiderivative, it's indefinite integrals and replacing back y by ln of x, then you get your answer here. So for more information about integration by parts, please visit my website goforaplus.com.